You ready, Tay? Yo, 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 welcome to the Wild That's Crazy podcast. What's going on, people? What's going on? I got my guy in the building, my co-host of the Layback and Chill podcast. We haven't started yet, but I'm introducing y'all to this guy. He's been on one of the previous episodes, but I wanted you guys to see this guy a little more because when we start this other podcast, the Layback and Chill podcast, which is coming soon, you guys going to get to see this guy, hear his takes on stuff. And today, you got a special treat because we just going to kick it, just us. I'm not interviewing him. He ain't selling no weeds. He ain't selling <laughs> no dinners. We just going to kick it, and we just going to have regular conversation, man. We just going to have conversation. I'm a little older than my cousin, so we just going to bounce off the dynamic of being me being the older cousin, him being the younger cousin, and we just going to kick it. So with that being said, I want to say hello to everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for the feedback thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for sharing and thank you for just watching man giving your time like that means the world and and just the the compliments the suggestions everything like i take it all in and i appreciate everybody for that thank you guys so much um thank you to last week's guest marlon thank you so much marlon if you guys get a chance go check out the detroit pepper company And get you some healthy food, man. Get you a smoothie. Get you some potatoes. And go get you some food, man. We always talk about there's no healthy restaurants or places in the hood. Marlin has one of those spots, so go check them out. Um, Right there on East Warren and Cashew. Go check out my man Marlin. And, you know, tell him James from Wild It's Crazy sent you. Um, Before we get started, I want to say a couple of rest in pieces. You know, it's just... 2022 getting started, man. So please, everybody, you know, appreciate they loved ones. Let those petty arguments go and just love each other, man. Life is too short. Within these last two, three years, we all should recognize that, you know, life is just short, man. We all lost somebody. We all saw people get sick. We saw people. We almost lost a couple of people. We lost some people. So let's just do everything in our power to get back to being normal and get things back to being normal. And... However you got to do that, whether you getting vaccinated or not, like everybody do what's best for them. But let's put ourselves in a position to, you know, keep America going and us to all be healthy. Like if you sick, stay your ass in the house, please. please. Like if you know you sick, please stay in the house. Like I'm not going to give you too much advice on all that type of stuff. But when you sick, don't come to work. Don't go to the party. Stay in the house. Um, I want to say rest in peace to my auntie. My family, Pooh, a.k.a. Cora, and Buff, and all my Buffalo family. Hope you guys get that W today. Um, rest in peace to Sydney Poirier. Rest in peace to Max Julian. Kids, do y'all homework on these people if y'all don't know. I'm not going to enlighten you on who these people are, but these people are very dope. You need to go check them out. So if you don't know any of these names, kids, go check them out. Adults, grown people. We all know these people. So, kid, if you if your kid don't know who these people is, enlighten them. Um, rest in peace to um, John Madden. Kids, I know y'all all know John <laughs> Madden. You know, um, great guy. Of course, I don't know him personally, but the video games, mm-hmm. the, the commentary. Mm-hmm. I mean, just was a legend, a Super Bowl coach, mm-hmm. was a player's coach. Yep. I mean, just uh, if you watch – Football when John Madden was commentating or coaching before my time. But if you watch the games he was commentating, he was funny. He was a great guy. He was hilarious. The way he used to draw on the screen with the plays and stuff used to be funny. Yeah, he, he had that unique voice as well. Not oh, to cut man. you off, cause no, you he right. had that unique, the, uh, unique voice, and you knew it, you knew it was him for real, man. And one of the movies that when I was a kid that I used to love that he was on was Little Giants. You ever saw Little Giants? Yeah, of course, man. Little Giants of was course. that movie, man. Yeah. And um, it was just dope, like seeing him in that and all the players and stuff in there. Like John Madden was the man. Rest in peace um, to Coach Dan Reeves. And this lady right here, I love this lady. And I was up on it before a lot of people. A lot of people was all scared to say this name. And a lot of us was too strong or didn't want to say this name. And when I said this show, I watched this show, people laughed at me. But now I see it's cool to be like, you a fan of this person. But rest in peace to Betty White. Like, Betty White was that funny. You know, she was that funny lady. She aged gracefully. Like, she was cool. 
she supported the cause. You mm -hmm. know, you know. And she was just a cool woman, man. Like, she was funny, man. I liked her commercial, the one where um, it was like a Super Bowl commercial. She had she, the Snickers commercial. Yeah, the Snickers, yo. <laughs> yeah, that was my shit. I liked that. And, and, um, and like I tell people, go the girls was one of them shows. If you had never watched it, no matter how old you is, one of them funny shows. It was like the original first, like, Sex in the City or Living mm -hmm. Single. Like, it was just yeah. one of them shows, you know. Um, the characters was funny. They was uh, beautiful. They were smart, and they were they were all different um, personalities. Yeah. So they was very dope. And Betty White was like one of my favorite ones, and um, she was just dope. So um, uh, with that being said, welcome, Mo. Welcome, my brother. Thank you for coming on, man. I know it was last minute, but we had to get you in the scene. I had man. to for you. Thanks for having me, no man. No doubt, man. No doubt, man. We're going to do this very It's an often. honor. Yeah. What's going on with you, my brother? As you see, I got my Lions jersey on. Shout Go out to Lions. the Lions. Go they Lions. won their last game against Green Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing, man. Just working. Living that grown man lifestyle. Okay. How was Bad work business? this week? Work was cool, man. I did a seven-day work week. Okay. Getting, getting that, that money. money. You know, money. ain't nothing else to do. Yeah. Hey, y'all hear that, kids? Get that money. Get that money. It's nothing wrong with going to work, making that money, and just doing what you got to do. You still can have fun, still can live your mm -hmm. life, have a social life, do whatever yeah. you got to do, but get that money first. Get that money, man. That money going to give you everything that you see in them videos. Yep. You don't. We don't have to all be rappers or all be ball players like... You can work that nine to five and get that bread. Man, it's there. And, mm -hmm. and know your lane, stay in your lane, and do what mm -hmm. you do. Do you. Yeah, because you, I, we all want to travel. We all want to have those fancy things, those cars, that jewelry, that money. That's how you get it. Like, it's a lot of legit hustlers that do their thing, and you will never know that. Like, Absolutely. he balling just like the street dude Absolutely. or the rapper dude or, the, you know, whoever, like that entertainer dude. And... A lot of us is way more motherfucking cooler. Man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> a lot cooler. I'm trying to tell you. And the, and the biggest point, to, to piggyback off what you're saying, because mm -hmm. we ain't risking our, uh, risking, risking our lives, you know, and our no, freedom. So we don't gotta get watch it the legit back. way. We don't got to watch our back at all. Not at all. <laughs> we punch that clock, walk out. We don't got to worry about my man running man. behind us. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, like, what's and going look, on? Look, I sleep so good at night knowing man. that, man. You just don't. It's the best feeling ever. Mm -hmm. And that's what I always respect about you and your crew, man. Like, y'all all on y'all shit. Like, y'all party it. together. Y'all have fun. Y'all support each other. And y'all all doing something. Oh, yeah. Y'all all in y'all own lane. Yep. And y'all all be on y'all cool shit. Yep. Shout out like, to the gang. Y'all know who y'all are. Man, keep doing y'all thing, youngest. Yeah. I see y'all, man. Y'all about to stop being youngest in a minute. <laughs> oh, man, that's another thing. Look, we're going to talk about that in a minute. That's another thing. <laughs> so how's it, like, how's it, age? how's life treating you? Like, do you see the difference? Because you're getting older now. Do you see the difference from 17, 18, 21, 22? Like, do you see the difference? Because do I? I'm seeing it. I'm experiencing it. My uh -huh. body changing. Like, I know I'm getting older, but... Yeah, I definitely see a difference from being 17 years old. You know, you transition to that that grown man. Then 18, you you technically grown, but you mm -hmm. ain't. But now that I'm 29, man, I I definitely see the difference. Um, mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm I'm definitely thankful that I've been reached this you know plateau in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I'm just here and thankful, and I'm just here now to tell the youth, you mm -hmm. know, by my experiences, so they can, you know form their own way of life and find their own way. And I just, you know, want to help them, you know, along that, that, that process and that journey. Yeah. That's cool because, like, with me, it was, like, all my years was different. Like, the 20s, the, like, 17 and 18 was different. 2022 20, was different. Mm -hmm. I think I had my first son when I was, like, 25, 26. So that was different. My 30s was different. Mm -hmm. And then my 40s, like, like, Back in them times, it was like when you got like 40, 50, like you was old. Yeah, yeah. It's like 40, 50, now it's like, that's the, still, new, yeah. that's the new 30. Yeah, like yeah. you still out here. Like you still, in, and a lot of us are healthy as hell. Mm -hmm. A lot of us exercise. A lot of us take care of our body. A lot of us just look better. Like we yeah. just, you know, we ain't out here just looking bad and with the ailments and walking around hunched over. Like a lot of us, like when I go in the gym, it's a lot of people my age. Yeah. It's a lot, like, and I'm mad I can't remember Unk's name, but we all call him Unk at the um, 
at the barbershop. He go to LA Fitness. Okay. And he got the old gang crew. Like yeah. he got the old school guys. They all sixties. They all fifties, fifty sixties and mm-hmm. stuff. And they be in there faithfully. Yeah. Like they be in there going crazy. Like when they when you walk in there, you gonna see them. Right. And they got their little click. They be doing their little workouts. So you be like, let me see what they do. Yeah. No, they going crazy. They hanging up. They on the getting it bar. in. They yeah, they getting crazy. it in. So it's like it's dope to see that that. Now we're pushing that number up. Yep. Now we all can live to be 100. In a minute, 100 ain't going to be nothing. Right. 90 ain't going to be nothing. So it's just like, I like that that we taking care of our body, taking care of our mind. We eating right. We doing certain stuff. And for me to see them at 60 doing that, that's inspiration. That's, yeah, that's motivation. That's what I'm trying yeah. to be. Because I tell my sons all the time, like, no, nah, man, I'm trying to be 80, 90 exercising. I'm trying to run marathons. I'm trying to make it to 100. And I'm trying to just be moving. I'm right. trying to play basketball with my great grandkids <laughs> and my grandkids. Like, for real, I'm trying to be on that time. So it's like the way you do that is taking care of your body. Yep. They got vitamins now. Yep. They got the uh, smoothies, the fruits, yep. the veggies. Like, it's nothing to do that. Yeah, and, and you got therapy and stuff like that. And, and health and fitness, man, that's that's in right now. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's so popular. That's what everybody's into. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you see a lot of businesses being created off of this. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people doing, like you said, smoothie shops mm-hmm. and things like that. The vitamins, the sea moss, yeah. everything. So. Yeah. That's what's saying right now. Yeah. Keep I it know. up. Yeah. I'm proud to hear that. Like, yeah. hearing everybody talk about CMOS and then the bladder rack and everything. Yeah. It's like, man, that's dope. Like, that's real cool. Um, um, One of the things I want to do is shout out our guy, Greg. Get well, Greg. Shout out, G. You know, when Greg is healthy and ready and strong, we going to get that laid back and chill podcast going. And like I tell everybody, because, like, a lot of people walk up to me and be like, well, okay, you do another podcast. What's this about? Well, this is about the fellas. <laughs> this is a, like a thousand percent about the fellas, our topics, our views, our everything. Like, and I can't say this enough. Like, this show is based on family and everybody and, and worldviews and everybody and, and introducing dope guests and funny people and talented people. But lay back and chill. That's just about the fellas, what we going through, what we going through on a daily basis, what stuff that we have to deal Mm -hmm. with, what's man stuff we got to go through, what's like, what it's like to work and then have to pay these bills or, or date or worry about getting married or kids. It's about all that stuff. So I, it was important for me to have Mo on this episode just so, you know, I could get him more in front of that camera, more in front of that mic, because when we get running, we're going to get running. Like, Greg already used to the podcast. Right. Mo going to be ready. He already did it twice. And I'm going to be ready. And those conversations, it's well, going to be different. Because I appreciate the confidence, because I'm a little nervous. But well, you thank all right. You. <laughs> you all right. I got you. Like, we good. Yeah. Like, like my thing is, like, I tell people, and, I, and this goes for guests and anybody coming on the podcast. Like, be yo, be who you are. Like, it's not about coming on here, putting on for social media, being a different right. person. It's about coming on here, chilling, being who you are. A simple conversation with somebody you fuck with or a conversation with somebody you don't know that you want to meet. Because, like, my thing is 22 is basically just be around around dope people. It's mm-hmm. not all about the people I know. I want to meet new people. Okay. You know, I want to surround myself around talented people, um, thought-provoking people, people that you know, do different things. And, and I want to try different stuff. Like, you, I feel you should never limit yourself to just, I'm over here in this box. I right. never wanted to be in this box. Right. Like, I want to do everything this year. I want to golf. I want to play some tennis. I want to um, take crazy trips. I want to do crazy spontaneous things. I want to try different foods. Like, that's what this year is solely about. It's about just feeling free and doing for 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 like a moment in my life being a father mm-hmm. you know being a husband before and it's just like now is the time I just focus on me still being that number one dad still doing certain mm-hmm. stuff still being supportive to their mother and, and having a back on stuff but just making sure it's about me like me being single me being happy just and you will get that too like a lot of times we get focused in on like, doing everything for everybody else. Right. And it's like, you're not all the way voiding yourself out, but you be you be you you look around and you last on the list. Exactly. It's like, I got to make sure 
Quali is straight. Jordan is straight. Make sure baby Aiden is straight. Mm -hmm. Making sure their mothers got everything that they need. Making sure work is work. And I work a lot of overtime. Mm -hmm. Making sure the podcast is doing good. Making sure my family and my friends, mental and everything is good with them. So it's like a lot of times when you do as much as I do, you look back and you like, man, I ain't take a day for myself. So, right. Like I ain't sat back and just said no work this week, no right. podcast this week. Just it's okay to just worry about you. Everything else is gonna come. Like being wealthy, changing the world, being a positive person, doing this and doing that. Like charities, all of that is gonna come. It's baby steps. Like you have to enjoy the process. So you can do the work. Bust your ass, do whatever right. you got to do, but enjoy the process. And I'm finding myself now at 42 just enjoying the process, like taking my time with stuff. I know what I want. Mm -hmm. I know what I like. I know where I'm trying to go far as this podcast and these podcasts. I know where I want us all to go. I know where I'm going mentally, physically, spiritually. Like, I'm so in tune. And it, I'm just really at one of them places where I'm like, remember in the Matrix when Neil was just like, he figured out who he was, yeah. and he like, <laughs> he like, no, you can't hurt me. I'm yeah. here. I'm the one. Like, now I know I'm the one. Yeah. So it's just like, now it's just all about, you know, enjoying the podcast team, having fun with you guys. Mm -hmm. And we all in a similar situation, different ages, different points in life. But it's dope to share that with y'all and to share that with them. Exactly. Like, it's because, like, when you first start watching this podcast, you saw me be the engaged person, the mm -hmm. father, the, the the hard worker, the podcast dude, the this. You're going to see a different side of me, but it's me. Right. Like, a lot of times people think when they say, when you be like, oh, well, I do this and I do this, or I crack jokes, I mm -hmm. do this. Like, a lot of people don't know that side of you, so they think you put no. No, Mo is funny. <laughs> Mo is laid back. Mo is cool than a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like if you don't see that, that don't mean Mo not that or you just didn't see that. Right. So a lot of times I tell people that it's more so of the one of those things where it's like you going to see me at all times, yeah. whether it's the family guy, whether it's like because I tell people all the time, my social media, you look at it, it's the same shit. Right. It's working out. It's with my kids. It's working it's being a father, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's being funny in the podcast. That's what it is. But I want to open you guys more up into seeing a little bit more. Yeah. You know, open the, opening the, the window up a little more so you can see a little bit more. Yeah. Like, I'm smart as hell, I'm funny, I'm talented, and I got dope people around me, and I want to highlight those people, whether it's barbershop people that come in, whether it's uh, police officers, pastors I know. Like, this show is based around that highlighting all the dope people around me because a lot of people think like oh it's just be me that make me dope like i tell my sons it's just not you it's not if you keep dope people around you and keep funny people around you positive people around you happy people around you people that inspire you you gonna always feel like you got a team behind yeah, facts. you it's like you walking around with the whole security team the social media team everything and it's just like it's fun and dope for you to highlight them people. That's what make me who I am. Like, when you look at my path and look at my story, it's women in my life. Mm -hmm. My auntie Fee helped me. She put that battery in my back as far as working, going to school, doing certain stuff, just working hard and just taking, op taking your opportunities. A lot of times, fear holds us back. It does. And we be like, man, I don't know if I could do that. But when you got somebody that's like, Mo, you got this. Mm -hmm. Mo, you got this. Just be on your stuff. You like do. with you, with you with school. Like, what was what was one of the things your mother kind of instilled in you as far as college or everything else? Like, what was your own goals for yourself after school versus your mother goals? Okay, uh, for well, I, went, I went to Wayne State. Shout out to Wayne State, the Warriors. Um, I was a football player, so you know my goals. Of course, you know you in college, you playing football. I want to go to the league. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna happen. So after that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get my degree. I got my degree in business management. Shout out to you. Yeah, 2015. So once I got my degree, I'm like, well, let me just get a job. And, you know, then I could work towards my goal. So yeah. I got the job. I said, I'm going to buy a house. Bought the house. I said, I'm going to do this, do that. Did that, did that. So, you know. But my mother, man, she really, she didn't really, 
more so. I'm not gonna say she kind of didn't like give me any goals for herself, mm-hmm. but she was like, just do what you do. You know what I'm like saying? That. I'm gonna support you regardless. Yeah. So she like, if you wanna chase that in the field dream, chase it. If you wanna get a job, mm-hmm. I'm gonna help you. If you want to get the house, I'm going to help you. And she mm-hmm. did. So I like that. Shout, shout out, out to, to my mother. Yeah, shout out to Tracy Lee. Mm-hmm. So she was just, whatever I want to do, she supported. And that's how we went. That's what's up. Yeah. Like, man, like one thing, I look at the fam. And I just look back. You and your mother and your brother relationship. Like, oh, yeah. that shit dope. Yeah, we think like, it's thieves. Yeah, like yeah. that's dope. Like, it ain't like no social media shit, no. No. Putting on. That's who y'all and are. And if you know me, you know that. You know, yeah. we, we, we think it's thieves, man. We mm-hmm. all we got, so. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Tracy. Shout out to Money Mike. Money Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Mike is a kid too. <laughs> I, I love Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Mike be on it. He be on it. Oh, everything. <laughs> I remember that battle. Mike put all, he had like 20 zero. <laughs> I was like, I love Mike. Yeah. But it's just like, man, like, it's just dope to see that because, like, that's a beautiful thing as far as your mother just telling you, chase your dreams. Yeah. Do your thing. I'm going to support you in whatever you uh-huh. do. Like, that's a beautiful thing to have that support system and everything that's going on. And, you know, sh- strong black women strong, in our lives. Yeah. Right. Strong black women. Shout out to them. Shout out to all the strong black women. Like, uh-huh. we need y'all. We got y'all back. Like, that's what it is. And um, speaking of that, I wanted to touch on this um, podcast stuff. And I'm going to say their names. Like, most podcasts, is everybody. I don't know if you know about it. So, if you don't know about it, I just fill you in. So, um, it's this podcast called Fresh and Fit. Okay. And um, it's like two dudes. Um, and, um, like, I watched the show a couple of times. And it's like, um, they basically got killed because of some comments they made. Now, before I start off talking about this, I want to say they was 100% wrong in everything they said, did. It just went about it wrong. Like, we can have our prefaces, and we can say, I like this type of black woman, or I like this type of black woman, but we can't say names. Right. We can't say <laughs> darkies or, right, or right. stuff. Like, we can't do that. You should we, know better anyway, though. Like We can't do that. So, like, I want to look at it from a, a different point of view. Like, I, I hear a lot of people killing them, all oh, they cloud chasers, all oh, they doing this. And, and I, I even heard Joe, like, you know, I'm an avid listener of Joe podcast. Yeah. Like, that's my guy, like, 100 grand. Like, that he one of the guys that made me want to get into this because that's my guy. Like, he was the rapper dude. He was yeah. the YouTube dude. He was the dope dude that I said. I can relate to him. He a Virgo. He cool. Okay. New York. You know how I feel about New York. And it's just like, he dope. <laughs> so they kind of touched on it. It's just like, it's always different. When you comment on something you don't know about. Right. Now, everything they touched on was right. Like, they said some crazy stuff. They deserve to get killed. Because I'm a firm, I'm a firm believer in if you do something, wherever you do it, you deserve to be punished for that. Now, can, can we say what they said? Because I'm not hip to what I'm I am going to tell you. Okay. So, basically, they basically got, they had Agent Dial on the podcast. And, um, mm-hmm. and y'all can go back and check it out, too. But they had Agent Dial on the podcast and basically they got on some stuff talking about how they don't like dark skinned women. And they 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 just the names they were saying they were saying all types of crazy racist stuff and embarrassing stuff for them to now, be black. are are these particular gentlemen are they black? Are yeah, they okay, yeah. okay. So it was just like 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 one of them was saying he was from Barbados. I forgot what the other dude would say he was from, but they black. Okay. Sudan or something. Like one of them's from Sudan. His parents for Sudan. Yeah. And um he the other dude from Barbados. But the thing is, whether you know or not, like, I'm a firm believer, and if I'm wrong, correct me. Right. So I think a me lot too. of people should have just used the, let me correct these dudes. Because what they do, they podcast, like, you could say whatever it is. It could be, like, where we from, we from the D. So we are, a lot of times people say soft feel for certain stuff, or they say suburb for certain stuff. Me, I just looked at them like, cool. They 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 do their thing. They put right. guys up on stuff. They they tell um guys a lot about stuff you should be doing to to get with that woman you're trying to kick it with. Okay. They on some like Kevin Samuels stuff, but not on his level because gotcha. Kevin Samuels, of course, is an older guy. Right. He been around, he knows stuff, and he really his intent is to just shine a light on certain things for women to help us all be in families for right. us to be where we need to be. That's what I take from Kevin Samuels. I don't take the negative way everybody try to say he's doing. I look at him like he's trying to get us back to that family thing right. and get us back on track 
our ladies on track, us guys on track. But he's hilarious though. His, like his content and the way he go about guy. things, though, he just don't. He's a yeah. savage. She don't care. No, but I and love he that cut, guy. He cut right in tune. But what people fail to realize, this guy, <laughs> his fans, and the people call in are women. They are most of them. And they they kind of like ask for it a little they bit, do. like you know, like okay, you got three, four kids, three, four baby daddies, like that's let's, the that's what he's gonna ask. You. Let's be real. Yeah. If you not in, like my thing is this, when you ask for something, you gotta be no matter what it is, whether it's a career, whether it's a house, whether it's money, whether it's credit, whether it's a woman, whether it's a man, whether it's Anything to be an athlete to be whatever, yeah. you have to put yourself in that position to be that. Right. Like we're not kids no more. We just can't say I'm be a movie star when I grow up. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. What are you doing to put yourself in a position to be a movie star? Are you going to acting classes? Are you working right. on some? Are you in plays in school? Are you? Do you have a coach? Are you doing certain things? So a lot of times we just say shit to be saying it. Right. But what he's saying is basically like. Okay, if you want this guy, this is what you have to do to get this guy. Right. So a lot of times, women these days and women, period, thinks that, oh, I just want a million. I want a millionaire. I right. don't want no broke dude. But at the same token, <laughs> you out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> you got four kids. Yeah. You got four baby daddies. Right. You, ha- you don't have no degrees. You work at whatever low paying job. Well, exactly. Like just be be like, honest with yourself. Be real with yourself. How you gonna want a millionaire? And you got all these things about yourself. Like that. What millionaires gonna want to mess with no. you like and that? And then you gotta be realistic. Exactly. Do you know what comes with being with a millionaire? Because you can say, oh, you ain't gonna have no time for you. No time because that man gotta get them millions. Exactly. And it, that man looking at women and and he can have anything he wants or any woman he wants. <laughs> Any woman he wants. You think he gonna pick you? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna even look your way. <laughs> no, that's no. That's better yet, he ain't gonna even be in the vicinity for y'all to no. even be around each other. Like he on yachts. Exactly. He on he in first class. He on private planes. He's on islands. He doing all this stuff. Where you gonna bump in him at? He not at by the FIA office. <laughs> <laughs> he not by. He not by. He not where you at. Yeah, he just not. He not by the outlet or the nah, liquor store and nothing like that. Like that. that's not where he at. So we're saying that to say, like, when you want something, you have to work towards it. Like I was just exactly. having this conversation with my son. Like, if you want to be great in basketball, football, athletics, um, um, you academically, you have to put in the work. You gotta separate yourself. You have to. Because everybody wants to do what you wanna do. What's going to separate you? Like, I was telling them today, like, my thing is this. Nobody going to work harder than me. Right. Like, right now, like, all jokes aside, it's not the brag or the boast. I literally probably only took a nap today. I did a double yesterday. I did four of them this week. And my double consists of working 2 to 10, then working 10 to 6 a.m., and then going to the gym and still, you know, making sure my son's straight, make sure I'm straight mentally, and doing the same shit over so today, I, I got off at 6 a.m. I got at 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. Took my son to the, my oldest son to the gym. Mm-hmm. We went to the gym for like an hour and a half, two hours. Came, dropped him off, kicked it with him, because you always got to find that time when you and your kids can bond. Especially when they get in the teenage years, because now to. they got a schedule and itinerary they sell. Yep. So after that, I took a little nap. I talked to my, my middle son now. He was my youngest, but he's my middle son now, <laughs> Jordan. Shout out to Jordan. And I and I told him, we gonna kick it today. You just gonna roll with me. Because part of like one of the mistakes, and I got on a, part of my one of my mistakes is with my sons, and you learn as being a father. Oh yeah. I'm on number three now. So yeah. you learn. So it's just like part of my stuff is now that they older, let's let's get them in some of the rooms where you do have a time yeah. and you can make the time for them to be in that. They not babies no more. So if I'm like, oh, I got to do the podcast, y'all can roll with me. Exactly. If I'm about to go to the gym, y'all can roll with me. Exactly. If I'm going to church, y'all can roll with me. If whatever I'm doing now, y'all at the point where y'all can roll with me, can do stuff. Because a lot of times, us, most of us dads, like, we want to plan out this big itinerary. We want to do certain stuff. But if you a busy guy doing a lot of things, shout out to Aunt, because Aunt do a lot shout of stuff. Shout out to Aunt. Great father. Shout out to Darren, Chauncey. Shout out to Darren, Big C. 
J. Poo, but Jay it's Poole, like it's everybody. one of them things. Everybody, all the five, all the doubt fathers we know, y'all know yeah. who y'all are. Yeah. But it's like it's dope to be busy in a fine time to still be a dope father, whether it's through conversation, spending time, working out, eating, going to grab dinner, going to the movies. Absolutely. The it's main thing dope. you said is time. Because mm-hmm. time, that's the one thing you can't get back. Mm-hmm. So, man, salute to you, man, for making time. You're a busy guy. You're working doubles. You're working out. You still making time to have your kids and your mm-hmm. sons around, and mm-hmm. that's 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 what's more more important time. Yeah, and it's just about fitting in. Like yep. we, yeah, if we was millionaires or certain people, we could just say, "Oh, we're gonna take the the weekend off. Right. We're gonna fly right. to here, and we just gonna do." But you know, time. cause money, money, that's not everything. It's not. It's not. So. And you gotta learn that. You but have they to. gotta learn that. Like my thing is, like I tell people, and I had this conversation with a couple of female friends in France, like. When I say I'm happy and I feel like I've achieved the level of happiness, that's where I'm at now. Yeah. Like, for one, I'm putting myself first. I'm making sure my son's good. I'm setting, up, I'm setting us all be in a position where we could do this for a living. We could all be wealthy. We could all have each other back and do certain things. And I'm just at a place where nobody can make me mad. I'm not going to let you make me mad. I'm happy. Good. Like, I'm good, my, I'm good mentally, spiritually, physically. Like, I'm great. Like, I'm at a place where it's like, you can't take that joy from me. I'll figure it out. Right. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to be my worst critic and just tear myself. No, man, we'll figure it out. Exactly. We'll do it. Come up with the plan. Let's see it through. Because mm-hmm. it's like a lot of times, and I was doing this the end of last year, I'm like, how was the year? And I said, man, we I lost a lot of people. Mm-hmm. A lot of family, not of friends, a lot of associates. And I was just like thinking about the stuff that that went wrong last right. year. I said, all right, let's think about everything that went right. There you go. And when I start thinking <laughs> of everything right, because I'm usually the right first, the, yeah. the bad, that, but I'm like, let me do the wrong first. And when I start shouting out them rights, it was like, man, man I did like the rights <laughs> always rice. are more than than the bad, man. The but good always outweigh the bad. That's what you focus on. Exactly. It's like we ain't we we're, we're not taught to say, hey, I got all this. I got a roof over my head. Exactly. I got people that love me. Or better yet, not to, not to cut you off. No, you. Can. I woke up this morning, man. That's that's the, most the big one. That's thing. the one. Man, when you can say I woke up, I got clothes on my on my body, I ate, I got a yep. roof over my head, yep. I get another day. Another day. Because as long as you get another day, that's all you need. That's all you need. You, you can do whatever you want to do with your day. And you can't, bl- look, you can't blame nobody else for your life. Mm-mm. Like, you have to look in the mirror and say, man, what can I do? What can I do to make my life better? What can I do different? Because we all can do a little more. Like Definitely. when people at the job be like, man, how you do them hours? How you do this and do that? I do it because I have to do it. Right. I never wanted to, and I, and I don't knock nobody else. Exactly. I never wanted to live a regular life. And by regular, I mean having doing the nine to five, mm-hmm. having don't, vacations here and Don't there. experience nothing. Don't experience nothing. Nope. Don't take risks. Don't take chances. And create no memories. I never wanted to live that <laughs> life. Like, mm-hmm. like, and my parents and my family could tell you, I always wanted a Porsche. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to travel the world. I always wanted to have a nonprofit. I always wanted to help people. I always wanted a club. Mm-hmm. I always wanted my own show. I always wanted a lot of these things and to be fit and to be cool and to be real and to be honest. And I'm living that. Like, I tell people... Money should be the last thing you focus on. Everything, work on everything else, and that money going to come. It's going to come. Because it's like once you get the money, you complete. Now it's like you should already be top to bottom where you want to be. Now you should be looking at it like, who I'm going to help. Right, exactly. How I'm going to, what position I'm going to put my great, great grandkids exactly. in. Exactly. Uh, what are some of the family trips we going to do? What's some what what an island that I'm about to buy? You there feel you me? Go. Yeah. What a, like yeah. I'm buying this island. My great great grandkid gonna have this island. Yep. They gonna have these properties. They gonna have these businesses. Yep. So it's like when you think about that generational wealth and you think about changing those generational curses, a lot of people ain't gonna get it. And that's why I had to tell myself, look, man, you can't expect everybody to get this shit. Right. What you saying is like speaking Chinese to them. Exactly. It's like. <laughs> 
They don't get that shit. Mm -hmm. And it's not to knock nobody. It's just I never wanted to live like that. Right. I always wanted to be in first class. I always wanted mm -hmm. my own plane. I always wanted to have my own yacht. I always wanted a Porsche. I always wanted to be able to get up and say, I'm not going to work this week. No. I'm about to fly over here. I always wanted that. So not, not only am I making sure me and we straight, because right. we all going to reach that. It's only a matter of time. I'm making sure our kids can do that. Yep. Or our kids can be like, oh, I'm going to do this business, or I'm thinking about doing this. Like when I used to look at Ron's house, I used to be like, these kids come to them talking about what business they going to have. Man. They come to them about, man, I can do this. I can start this and business. I'm going to do a clothing line. That's dope. Yeah, it is. That's not like that, man. I don't know how I'm going to pay for college. I don't know how I'm going to get this car. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bill. No. I'm about to start this business. Yep. Like, I'm about to start my own clothing line. Like, that's where we need to be, and that's what we need to be talking about. Exactly. So, I just think that's dope, and that's just one of the things that I always wanted, and I hope everybody else is. Even if it's not for you and you are a parent, do it for your kids. That's right. Do it for your niece or your nephew. Like, just because you didn't have it don't mean they can't have it. Exactly. Like, do it where it's like you could be in a deaf. And then respect everybody else's situation. Like, yeah. I didn't look at Chauncey and look at you and look at Ann and Darn and them be like, oh, man, they living this way. They they got this type of love or they got moms that's doing this or they got this. No, I looked at it like, that's dope. Exactly. That's beautiful. Okay, how can I recreate that with my sons? Exactly. How can I use that as inspiration to get myself to the next level? Exactly. Like, it was never no jealous or envy stuff. Like, that's what pe these young kids got to stop. Like, right. you don't got to step on nobody back. Like, use people as motivation. Man. Whether you know them or not. Like, Man. I look at Charlemagne, Joe, Kevin Hart. Like, it's certain people less miles. Certain people I look at and I be like, I could do that. Exactly. They my inspiration, whether I know them or not. I don't condone everything they do because right. nobody condone something everybody do. But the stuff they do that's dope, Tyler Perry, like yeah. Hove, like Diddy, like that's the stuff I want to do in my own way. Right. Not exactly. in their way. Exactly. In my way. Exactly. So, um, this week, man, like, this week, um, and this is being 100% hundred percent transparent, like, I went through some stuff with, like, just, I would say social media. Okay. And what I'm talking about <laughs> is this, like, a lot of times, and, and I, I can't blame women for this, but I do. Okay. Because I feel women <laughs> gotta, you gotta know the difference. Now, you as a man, though, know, you know the difference between Giving compliments. Right. And being into somebody. Exactly. You know that, right? Yeah. So, like, when when a, when a, let's say, a, a young lady you know, mm -hmm. she just think Mo is a dope person. Right. She like Mo's relationship with his mother. She like his relationship with his brother. Mm -hmm. She like that he went to school, he educated, and he played sports, and he fit. And he a cool dude. Right. So, she might hit like on a couple of pictures. You know the difference yeah. between her and that shorty that like you. Exactly. Like, you know that one that's like, nah, if I ever see Mo, like, <laughs> I'm about to deal Mo not. Like, you know that one. Yeah. Why don't women know that? I don't, they, I'm women, lost. Look, women are very aggressive too, bro. Like, but I don't they're get, very aggressive. Why don't they know the difference between a guy that's hitting on them versus the guy that's just giving a compliment? Yeah, because they, I think people don't know. It could be an ego thing too, though, cuz. Because, look, you know, Instagram, when you reply to somebody's story, you have the option to put, like, a heart emoji, yeah. like, the hard eyes, the fire. Yeah. So, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm scrolling. It could be, you know, a, a random girl. If I think she look cute, I'm a hard eyes her. You know, yeah. that's just giving a compliment. That don't necessarily mean I want her. Yeah. That's just giving a compliment. Yeah. But say I do that to the wrong one, right? Uh -huh. I hard eyes. She's going to DM me, like, what's up? <laughs> I'll be like, look, I would just give you a compliment. You know, I like what you're wearing or your hair look nice or whatever, yeah. something like that. But she's going to get very aggressive. But I don't know why they don't know the difference. I Like, for the life of me, yeah. and I, I'm going to touch on this subject with the woman in, in studio, but <laughs> I really don't know. Like, I look at it like this, and I tell women, if you a cool dude like us, and if you a dude that's just real and honest and just a cool, natural yeah, dude, yeah. like, we know it's going to be women that just think we dope that don't want us. Exactly. And we know and that's women, fine. That's cool. That's fine. I'm fine with being your friend. I'm f you I know? can be, look, all you got to do is say, hey, you friend. There you go. I'm friend. 
Ain't, ain't nothing I can do about when that. I don't play my part, my role to the T. But it's just like if I'm friend, then I'm friend. But I understand that. Right. So it's like if we get hit on, and it, the, like I tell women, the guy hit on is different from the woman hit on. It is. Like the women hit on is like stealth and sneaky. You might like twenty pictures. You might say hey, or mm-hmm. you might do the wavy hands. Yeah. You might just. Oh, you might compliment me in the picture. Right. Like, it's never direct to right. me. Right. You got the ones that do do the direct. Like, hey, what's going on? What's yeah. good? <laughs> you, got, you got a couple you of them that got do that. that. Yeah. But it's just like, come on, man. If that happened to y'all a hundred times out of a week, if that happened to y'all <laughs> a lot, you don't think y'all should be paying attention or studying? Right. Like, y'all got to do y'all homework, <laughs> man. Like, no, it's irritating because it's just like, man. I heart my mama stuff, your yeah, mama stuff. Yeah. Like, if you really see my algorithm and you see what I'm doing, man, the dude that work out with his shirt off, I'm liking his stuff. The father yeah, that's right, doing right, stuff with his father, yeah. I'm liking that stuff. He's showing love. Yeah. I know, I'm yeah. showing love all across the board, yeah. whether it's uh, aunt, wife, or whoever, yeah. whoever, babe, mom, whatever it is. I'm liking that because it's a supportive thing. Exactly. Hey, to me, lights is like this. You walk down the street, oh, them nice shoes, like, yep. that's a nice car, like, Oh, look at the couple holding hands. They look like they in love. Like, yeah. that's all a like that's is. All it is. A like yeah. ain't like, oh, please give me your heart. No, <laughs> please give me all your time. Like, please be my woman. Let me go out. That's not a, no, that's right. not what that is. Exactly. You going to know when somebody's shooting a shot. Because a lot of guys these days are direct and corny. Yeah. Oh, and man. they going to say, hey, what up with you? What's right. good? What you drink? What you smoke? Exactly. <laughs> like, Can I pull up? <laughs> you don't even know her. You got to pull up. <laughs> I don't get what that. What are you doing? You can't, fellas. We can't pull up to nobody. We all know. We shouldn't even do that. That's not even safe for us. It ain't. It ain't. When your pants down and you somewhere you don't know, that girl can set you up. Exactly. You can get God. Like, let's stop doing that. But I just think, to me, that's lazy of women and that's corny. And that's not just no particular woman. That's all women. Like, a woman should be able to know, okay, this guy is just being friendly. Yeah, just, this just guy give is me just a compliment. being nice. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, just... You know, he thank notices you. me. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, light, hard eyes, whatever. I see you. We're all not the same. Like, yeah. I promise you, we're all not the same. So tell me, like, some of your interaction with women. Like, not family members, just women. Like, what are some of the. What's some of the things you go through with women? Like, what's some of your interactions? Whether it's a woman you don't know, women you work with, you know, women that you dated. Like, what's some of your interactions? Like, what's your thoughts on women? That you around in your everyday life. Okay, well the women I'm around, man, y'all they they're they're pretty cool. Now you know I got women I date. You know that interaction is different from a a a a, a woman that's just my friend. Mm-hmm. Like for instance, today I went to the Lions game. I went with my best friend. That's tough. Me and her been best friends since high school. So of course, you know them lines ain't never been crossed and they never will. Mm-hmm. That's strictly my best friend. But some somebody that I'm dating, you know, we'd go out. Mm-hmm. We you know we go get some food or get some drinks somewhere and mm-hmm. kick it and hang or we could chill at the crib, yeah. you know. And then like with family, you know, mostly you know family events, things like that. That's where I pretty much interact with them, especially now you know with this pandemic going on. Mm-hmm. Well, my mother she cooks every Sunday, so that's I know so I'm gonna go over there and get a plate when I leave here. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So that's that's pretty much it, you know. Just mm-hmm. knowing those guidelines and 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 knowing you know those relationships mm-hmm. and, and moving accordingly. So yeah, because I I don't think and I, and I ask you that because I don't think a lot of women like understand the dynamic that some guys have with women. Yeah. Like a lot of guys had a. a the relationships with women where it's always trying to holler, always trying to sleep with, always trying. But that's not every no, guy. No, no, that's, like, not, that's I, not me at all. I know a lot of guys yeah. that is just like, that's the homie. Exactly. Like, like we talk, like we talk. Like, she might ask me for advice, I might ask her for advice. Yeah. Like, we kick it like that. Like, and it's just like with me, I've always had more female friends than guy friends. Because the guys I look at as friends, they're not friends. Once you, after so many years, you my brother. Like, right. we family. Right. So I look at it like a lot of female friends I got, like, you know, we just straight friends. Yeah. It's been that. It's going to be that. And it's just like, I, 
I'm cool with whatever our relationship is. Like, I tell people, like, my thing is, whenever you dating or talking to a girl, get to know her first. Yeah, just be definitely. friends first. Like, if you just start off at friends, now we know if we want to do this right. or if we just want to say this or if we just want to do dib and dab. Right. But whatever, whatever it is, you just be honest. You let them know your intentions. Don't be that guy that's like, Oh, we cool being friends, but every time she talks to you about a dude, you, <laughs> you like, get mad. Oh, oh, you out with Keith again? <laughs> every time I turn around, it's Keith, 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 Keith. Like, whoa, why you mad? Right. So it's like, guys, stop doing that. Like, exactly. be 100% honest about your intentions. Like, if she don't want to mess with you, she don't want to exactly. mess with you. And you got to accept that. I don't care how much you think, how sexy you are, how sexy you think she is, you know, what she could do, what you like, what the stories you heard. No, man, get you a woman that's for you. Exactly. Like, get you the woman that want to do those things for you. Like, we can't keep thinking just because we see what she do, we hear about what she do, she supposed to do that for us. Exactly. No, you the homie, you the homie. Mm-hmm. You in a friend zone, you in a friend zone. And, so, and a lot of times, there's nothing wrong with being in there's that. There's not. Because a lot of times, you end up meeting adult friends, you end up meeting the woman you want to be with, or you end up meeting the ones that's just like, man, I can hang with her every day. Yeah, she like right. the homie. So it's like a lot of times where women did, did that to me, I said, okay, that's cool. I'm with that. And, and a lot of us friends to this day. Yeah. A lot of us is just like, okay, I, I get that. You don't look at me like that way. I'm cool with that. You got a cousin? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my yeah. way. Like, you got a friend? Huh? Where yeah. you from? What's your friends? Okay, I got some guys. With exactly. You. And that's what it's about, like networking, kicking it. And a lot of times, guys, especially guys who don't know or don't understand women, get in that circle. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with getting in that circle. Like, I done been out with, with my female friends, and it's like I'm the only guy. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, they going to try to rape me. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's just like, you know, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's funny. Fun, yeah. Because it's like you get to see the dynamic. You get of to see how they guys. talk yeah. and how they act, man. You know, you'll find out some stuff. You like, hear that conversation. Yeah. And it's just you be like, like, she did what? what? Oh, wow. That's oh, she crazy. been with who? <laughs> and you be sitting there, you be finding yourself. Yeah, like, that shit can work to I'm your advantage, too, man. though. Sometimes. Oh, man. You, know I mean? you be looking like, oh, she like to do what? Yeah. And a couple of. Dr- <laughs> like that's what she do mm-hmm. she like doing that yeah. she do that all the time it's like <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kick it with her exactly like and it's just like you find yourself in a better position doing that and what better way to learn about a woman than with women you feel me like that's what guys I don't think they get they or don't. grasp they haven't got it all this time like if you around women that you just straight cool with you can learn about women. And guess what, though? Because women bring women. Say All you go time. to the bar and you bring a woman with you. It yeah. could be just a friend or somebody you dating mm-hmm. or kicking it with. And they another woman sees you with that woman. Like, women... They gonna want you after that. Yeah. Like women bring women. You yeah. feel me? So man, I done did all this. Yeah. I done did this. I used to do the shy brother. I used to do that. Oh. That's my brother. <laughs> like, come talk to my brother. Yeah. Like, I had a home girl. I ain't gonna say your name, but shout out to my home girl. <laughs> like, we used to go to the clubs, and whether it was a guy or a female, we'd just plug each other on. Mm-hmm. So it's like we'll go in, and we'll kick it. I'd be like, man, like that's the one right there. Yeah. So she'd be like, hey, you know, come here, let me kick it with you. I'm gonna buy you a drink. I done already gave her the money. Yeah, yeah. Or she the <laughs> boy, I done bought. So I'd be like, let me buy you a drink. That's my brother, man. Like he cool. Like he think you dope. You should get on your number. Y'all should talk sometime. Oh, come here. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ace. How you yeah. doing? Like, what's what you do for fun? Right over real. Yeah, right, now yeah. we all, oh, the song come on. Now we all dancing. Yeah. And you know, I'm not the best dancer. <laughs> you know me, I'm a dancer. Yeah, yeah. Man, look, man. You're going to have a good time. I'm One gonna thing have about a, you, you going to have a good man, time. I'm going to have a good time. Yeah. I'm going to, look, fellas, forget all that being a, you don't got to be Omarion or Chris Brown. Exactly. Have fun, have man. Fun. Women respect that guy that's just having fun and being silly and being goofy. You know what I mean? Times, look. I tell my sons, I tell young guys, if you wasn't around 04, 05, around, and anybody <laughs> from Detroit know, when BML, 
Jeezy, everybody was around. Misha was around. And you go to the Elysium, you, uh, the Zoo Bar, all the little clubs, <laughs> River Rock. It was popping. Yeah. Like, you, you was on your stuff. It was like... That was the moment. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you in the moment, you got to have fun. You got to figure out how it worked for you. I wasn't a D-boy. I wasn't the guy who did this or did that. I wasn't that. Look, I was the cool, funny guy. Yeah. I was the guy that worked, that, that did certain stuff, and I was that funny guy. So I relied on what my gifts was. Exactly. And it was just like, you just have fun doing what you're doing. So, um, um, so like, my bread and butter, and it's single stuff. Okay. This this just giving away a little bit of the sauce. I don't mind giving them. Like, when you dope, ain't it, no such thing as giving sauce. away the yeah. sauce. The sauce yeah. is the sauce. Exactly. Give it to somebody else. Let them make that recipe. Make them do their thing. So my thing was, like I just said, my thing was always being original. Yep. Original was everything to me. See, back in them times, nobody cared about being the honest dude. Right. Nobody cared about being a funny dude. Funny dude a little bit, but the honest, funny, real dude that was blunt and said what he liked it or like what he liked it to do sexually, and mm-hmm. it's, it's PG-13, right, but right, right. <laughs> like what he liked it to do, that guy was dope. Yep. Like that guy stood out because you had all the money guys. Oh, I work here. I try this. Mm-hmm. You had the car guys. You had the D boys. You had the local rappers. You had all this. How do I fit in? I ain't the pretty boy. I ain't the right. this person. I wasn't chiseled at this time. I wasn't a gym freak at this time. So I had to figure out my lane. And my bread and butter was always, how was your day? Yep. I was the kiss on the forehead guy. <laughs> like, that was my lane. Like, how are you doing? What's yeah. going on with you? Never corny, not kissing your butt or doing nothing corny, all. but just paying attention to how you do it. What's going on with you? Do you want a friend? Do you want somebody you could kick it with? Do you want somebody? Do you want more? Because exactly. as long as you being honest with me, like I tell women, be honest with men. Same thing with men. Put your intentions out there and mm-hmm. just be real and honest and say what you want and what you require, what you need. Exactly. Once you do that, either people going to get on board or they not. It's going to stop everything, all the bull stuff from happening. Because right. if you say, I want somebody with goals, that person who don't got no goals can't walk up. That's true. I want somebody without no kids. You got eight kids. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got one or two. You're right. You got eight. Like... <laughs> And one of, the, one of those guys is crazy. Is he that, shoot at people. You know he do. Out of eight kids, <laughs> you know at least one of them crazy. I'm not going through that. So it's just like you have to. It's all about adjustments. And it, it, it really is about being in your lane. It is. Because a lot of times, being in your lane, let me be specific. Being in your lane is about putting yourself in a room that you belong in. It ain't no financial thing because it's you could be. never that. We all saw Think Like a Man. Yeah. The one character, uh, I can't remember my man's name, but the one character, he had all the ambition, all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, he was the chef. He uh, was the chef. Mike, Michael Ely Michael played Ely, yeah. yeah. Like, Michael Ely had all the potential in the world. He just needed that little push. So it's like, money will come. Exactly. Can your dreams and your hard work and your dedication, can that happen? Because tomorrow, you can walk out and mow a millionaire. Right. Jordan a millionaire. Taylor a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. That changes everything. But who are you as a millionaire? Exactly. Are you a corny millionaire? Are you that person who's going to run out of money? Because a lot of people, oh, I'm buying it. I got a boat. No, My money, dog got a money boat. Money don't make you real. It's a <laughs> lot of dudes with money. They corny. You know, They just corny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So money don't make you real or, or whatever. The person that you are, that's what makes you real. You and feel? that's why you work on everything else. Because when the money comes, now that's just you an know. add-on benefit. That's it. So when the money come, now you like, man, I'm going to donate to this charity. Yep. I'm going to go do this Coast for Kids thing. Yep. I'm going um, to invest in this. I'm going to get this business. I'm going to make sure everybody in my family got life insurance. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make sure the people around me got this. I'm going to make sure they start businesses yep. with they with they goals. Yep. This don't got to be my business. Let me help you get your business exactly. off. I don't want nothing back. You my, fam- my friend, my family. Do your thing. Like I tell people, just because I'm doing podcasts or you doing what you're doing or Ant doing what he's doing, mm-hmm. Darn doing what he's doing, 
Everybody lane is everybody lane. I want you to open the business you want. Exactly. I want to open the business I want. So it's just about us reaching back and helping the people you love and care for. And it's just like, women, please understand that. This guy that's busting his butt, doing what he's doing. Like I saw a video on IG, and this one, this guy walked up to a woman. I think they was at a gas station. He had a hole in his shirt. I think he had some busted shoes. You could tell he probably got off work or was doing some. Right. And he had like a PT Cruiser or some. If it wasn't a PT, it was the other one that looked like a PT Cruiser. Right. So he walked up. He like, what's going on? Big cocky guy. Yeah. So he walked over, linked over on their car like, what's up? Like, can I talk to you? First thing she did, start shitting on him. Mm. Like, oh, you got a hole in your shirt. Turn around. Let me look at your oh. shoes. Just start killing him. You don't him. know this man. You don't, he could he could, he just, could be the th- one. He could just do that on just to test. You don't even know. He could be that one. Hey. So it's like for you to shit on him and then nine, you see that video ending with him shitting on her. Like you got two baby seats in the back. Like they exactly just, right, 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 shots right. That they both. <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Like how can we get to that point? But like I said, my thing always just been honesty being funny, being real, and being a caring person. Mm-hmm. Because like I tell people, I grew up around all women. So I don't got no disrespect towards women. That ain't my angle. Right. I don't got to be like, you stupid, you crazy, or be this way towards women. I love women. Mm-hmm. I respect women. I care for women. So Amen. when I, you know, I'm from that, like my mom doing this, my auntie doing this, they working these jobs, they doing this. I'm from that. I done seen cousins, aunties, a uh, big cut. Like, I done seen that. Yeah. So it's like, I respect that. But don't try to use my respect for some corny stuff. Because it's exactly. not. Just like exactly. I know the ones that that's like this. I know the ones that said, watch out, cuz, for these corny girls. Mm-hmm. Watch out for the ones that try to take advantage of that. Exactly. So it's just like, ladies, we just got to do better, man. Like, we just got to do better at just... Like, we know at this point in life and times that's going on right now, it's like women are the guys now. They are. And it's like the guys, a lot of the guys are turning into the women. They it's just a like soft. you. They get a little soft. Yeah. You starting to be the one. You ain't cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't do this. Yeah. And it's like, oh, 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 I'm all down for us working together. But what we not going to do is talk to me like I'm the kid. Exactly. Talk like to me like I'm the help. So it's just like, women, we understand y'all making the money, y'all doing y'all thing. And we respect that. But just remember, it takes that king, it takes that queen to be on the same page. Got to. Like, that's important. It's important for us both to work together and inspire each other. Because when we looked at it like, oh, you don't work, you going to be the, the, the lady of the house. It's not too many men that look down on that. It was guys that did say, oh, I pay the bills. You do whatever I say. That's corny. But I'm talking about the guys that say, okay, take care of the kids. I'm going to take care of everything else. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to respect that and understand that. And women, if y'all don't know that, talk to some other women. Mm -hmm. Like, talk to the the old, y'all OGs. Talk to women that y'all know. Like, like really understand the difference in guys. Like, really understand the good from the bad. Y'all getting too old. To not know the difference. You can't be right. 30, 40 talking about all guys are this. Because even with guys, you can't say all women are that. You can't. So it's like, let's do our homework, man. And I want to thank you for, for joining me, my brother. Man, thank you for having me. It's, it's going to be plenty of these. Man, I look forward yeah. to this, man. I just, like I said, I just wanted to get you out Look, here. I'm just glad I got this person out the way. You That's what I'm me? saying. So not moving on. I'm yeah, a, you know. and then with Greg here, so us yeah. three, we bouncing off each other, but... I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Jordan, Shout for out being to here. Shout out to Jordan. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Detroit Sound and Video. Thank you to the team. Um, and thank you to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking. Please pay attention to us. We got some good stuff coming. Come. Mo, Greg, us, we this laid back and chill podcast. We got some stuff coming for y'all. Like, we just want to give y'all that content that we all can relate to, like, and respect. Thank you, guys. And we got a lot of stuff coming up this week, so pay attention. I'll share my social media and everything and places you can find us on YouTube. So check us out, and thank you, guys. Enjoy your week. Please wash your hands, wear your mask, respect Please. each other. You don't rock with this person, go that way. That's right. Spread love, not hate, and just have fun. Ladies, be honest. Guys, be honest. And respect our queens. Enjoy y'all week and peace.